I bought this beautiful lawnmower because I had this absolutely crazy idea to turn it into a terrifying centrifuge. I started the process by pulling off the blade and it was on there pretty darn tight. Once the blade was off, I marked out two five and a half inch pieces of square tubing and I cut them with an automatic bandsaw. I then cut out some caps and welded it all together. Basically, I made two cups and then I attached them to the ends of the blade. This is what the result looked like and you can probably see how it works now. I did some quick calculations and found that whatever I put in here should experience about 1500 G's or about 53 times the gravity of the sun. First, I needed to do a dry run though to make sure it was semi-safe. Ideally, the sandbags protect me a little bit and then I made this kill switch with fishing line. The start happened really slowly because of all the additional inertia. It ran like a top and passed the test with flying colors. I decided that the first test would be an old iPhone, so I put it in and put rocks on the other side to balance it out. All the additional inertia on the blades made this the most satisfying start I've ever heard. Take a listen. That terrible noise is the blade banging against the deck of the mower. After about 20 seconds, I released the safety on the mower and it came to a stop. The blade bent a bit and that's why it made contact with the deck. The iPhone was really wedged in there, so I had to pry it out with a screwdriver. It turns out the iPhone was fine, but that didn't really surprise me because phones are designed to withstand high Gs when they're dropped. Now I needed to fix the bent blade though, so it would stop hitting the deck every time it went around. This was easy with the hydraulic press. I put the blade back on and then I figured out a better way to turn it off from a long ways away. Finally, it was time to test, so I gently put in two eggs. I used two so it would hopefully be balanced and maybe somewhat safe. After priming it, I gave it a pull and it started right up. I let it run for 37 seconds and then I pulled the safety. Right away, I knew our eggs didn't do so well. Sure enough, they had been flattened against the walls of the centrifuge. I needed to fix the bending blade problem because it's possible that was interfering with the tests. Luckily, I came up with this permanent solution to that problem. I started by pressing the blade flat again, and then I cut the flat bar to length. I then welded it all together, and it was time for another egg test. This is much sturdier. This time, I added a little bit of padding to hopefully make the egg's life a little bit easier. Don't worry, I put an egg on each side to balance it out. I let it run for 52 seconds before pulling the line to shut it down. When the centrifuge stopped, I pulled out the towels to see what the eggs looked like inside, and they were pretty beat up. I wanted to see what was happening inside of the centrifuge when it was running, so I decided to mount a GoPro to the blade. The housing didn't fit though, so I had to get creative. I'm not sure if this electrical tape's gonna hold or not, but if not, it's gonna get hit into outer space. I decided to try it with a banana, and the result was awesome. Next up, I packed in some snow to see if I could make an ice block. The result was two blocks of what felt like ice. This would make for a pretty painful snowball. Then I decided to try and make a jumbo marshmallow by putting a bunch in. The centrifuge kept quitting on me, so I had to start it over a few times, and you can see that in the GoPro video. It's kind of neat how they compress and decompress over and over again. I finally got it running, and the marshmallows squished together. The result was this jumbo marshmallow brick. Next up was hot dogs. When they stopped spinning, the hot dogs expanded out again, but they were still very broken. Then I put in some Play-Doh. An ice cream sandwich. Then I wanted to make a bigger ice brick by packing in a bunch of snow, running it, and then packing in more. After it stopped, I packed in more snow and then started it back up again. I repeated this process one more time and then it was time to get it out. It slid out pretty easily with a little convincing. It was completely solid and overall a satisfactory snow brick. All the fun colors on top of it are the remains of the ice cream sandwich from the previous test. This was supposed to be McNuggets versus Centrifuge, but it turned into GoPro versus Centrifuge. As you can see, the mount I used to hold it on failed and it got hit extremely hard by the blade. GoPro parts were scattered everywhere. I was in no danger because I'm a professional McNugget Centrifuger and I was far away. Speaking of far away, somehow this part landed all the way over here, which I measured to be about 50 feet away. This was a fantastic opportunity to learn about the inner workings of a GoPro. Unfortunately, I haven't found the battery or the SD card yet, but I'm gonna keep looking so I can post the footage from inside. As for the most important part, the nuggets were totally fine. I'd prefer to keep my new GoPro in one piece, so I designed and printed this cool little mount. The print took about eight hours and looked great. To use it, you simply slide the GoPro in, slide the door on, and put the safety pin in. Speaking of safety, I also designed this little clip that will let me turn the mower off with a rope from far away. The final upgrade was this little sleeve that makes it easier to clean. 
For the first test with the new setup, I decided to use a hard-boiled egg. I turned on the light, slid the GoPro in, and then I started up the centrifuge. The egg turned rectangular as it was exposed to 1500 Gs. I pulled out the egg and while it was a little bit deformed, it looked just fine. I decided to run the same test over again, but this time with the shell on. I started it up and here's what happened. When I went to pull it out, it was pretty obvious that the egg was cracked. As an added bonus, it was also kind of a cube. For the next test, I soaked the sponge in water. I then wanted to see if a sponge would stop an egg from breaking, and it definitely did not. Finally, I decided to stuff an entire McDonald's cheeseburger in, and it forced it into the cup. At the end of the day, I had created a monstrosity kind of like this entire video.